Now, before you think that this video is related to religion, let me tell you that this video has nothing to do with religion at all. He is Shirdi Sai Baba, a great Indian saint who lived until the early 20th century. And people from different religions and from across the world followed him and his teachings. Even today, he has followers across faith and from around the world, not just India. As I was going through his teachings and methods of helping people heal and helping them solve their problems, I realized that there are some powerful manifestation techniques hidden in his teachings and I thought of sharing them with you. The technique that I'm going to share with you today is very, very powerful, even more powerful than a prayer and will help you clear out all your negative beliefs all your blockages, mental blocks. So now, very carefully listen to his words. He said, take one step towards me and I'll take 99 steps towards you. That is, set your intention and offer your best gift. That's your 1% or your first step. That is the only action required from your side. And the rest 99% is the task of that infinite intelligence, the universe, the divine, God, and whatever you might call it. Now, some people don't understand or misinterpret his teachings, especially the part where he says that you need to offer your best gift. This is the place where most people make mistake and fail to manifest their desires. So I'm going to throw some light on his teachings and how exactly to apply this technique, this hidden technique to manifest anything that you want, everything that you want in life, money, love, wealth, house, loving partner, marriage, the appearance, anything that you want is possible with this technique. I'm sure you have understood at least one thing from his teachings and that is the one person task is yours and the 99 percent is for the universe to complete and under that one person task we know very well how to ask. We know how to set our intention. That is pretty clear. But what about the offering part? Now he is not asking you to give your organs or to give all the property all your wealth no sai baba knew one thing that human beings are attached to two things one is wealth money and the other thing are all the facilities the conveniences human beings are also insecure about these things and will not easily give up these things so in order to help the people manifest their desires to solve their problems, he would ask them to give up their insecurities, to come out of that attachment with that thing. Because when we are attached to a particular thing, it is very hard to get it. The people who are insecure about money, the people who are attached to money, who feel that money is something if you give up is not going to come back or some kind of a mental block related to money. That is when such people are always in the cycle of poverty. They remain broke all their lives. Nothing changes for them. But the same person, if he is a broke, he has very little money, but he wants to be a millionaire. He wants to attract wealth. Sai Baba would ask this person to help somebody who is even poorer than this person, who has even lesser money than this person. If this person managed to offer that money, that little money which he had, to help somebody just from his heart, pure love, with pure feeling of helping and charity, that is when this person received the money, the wealth multiplied several times. So let me tell you 
another story where there was this person a hungry person he used to go hungry for days he couldn't get any food one day somebody offered this person some food he was very happy he decided to start eating that food that bread that he was given that is when a hungry dog approached him that dog kept staring at that guy staring at that food this man felt really pity for that dog because he understood what hunger was he thought now that he had food he would share part of his food with that dog and he did that he gave part of that bread and threw it at the dog the dog was very happy and went away next day onwards this man never went to bed hungry he would get food every single day in fact he had surplus food every single day that he would save to help others so when you offer something with pure love selflessly from your heart the universe understands how important that thing is for you this man also understood what hunger was he didn't want any living being to suffer from hunger that is why he shared his food with that dog the universe understood his intention and immediately filled him with abundant food every single day let me tell you my own personal story to elaborate this point further one day i was returning home from office i was using the metro rail services and it was very very crowded while getting down at a station i felt someone pushed me and that is when i realized that my sandal broke now what to do what to do so holding my broken sandals in my hand i thought of going to a place where i knew there was a cobbler very nearby so i boarded another train and reached that station it was just two or three stops the cobbler used to sit right close to the gate of the metro station so i did not have to walk that much the cobbler started fixing my shoe and it was done it was time for me to pay his fees as i put my hand inside my bag to get the wallet out i realized that the wallet was not there i frantically searched for my wallet but still i could not get hold of it i then realized that my wallet was stolen now my immediate problem was how could i pay this person and at that time he did not have any digital way of paying so i could not do it digitally as well i was confused what to do i explained all my ordeal to him told what happened and he immediately said sister please don't worry it's okay you can go you don't have to pay me but i felt really bad because usually this person wouldn't make that much money and even though he got a work to do he fixed my shoe i was not able to pay him he would not get that money either so i told him please trust me i am going to come back and pay you for sure mark my words i am going to come back and pay you to keep my promise a few days later i went to that cobbler to pay his fees i stood before him and asked hello can you recognize me of course he couldn't he had a blank expression on his face then i reminded him of how he actually had helped me that day and i was there to pay him back he charged 10 bucks for his work but i took out 100 bucks i told him please keep it you deserve it you helped me the other day and i'm so so grateful to you please keep it but he refused to take that money he said no i cannot take that money from you it's only 10 bucks and i i am not going to charge you extra then i told him that as the festival is near the corner please keep it as a gift only then he accepted that money and i went away happily now see because he offered me something the other day he received 10 times that money he offered his help he offered his service to me 
he didn't charge that day he helped me in all ways possible and that is why he was getting the return 10 times multiplied and not only that a few months later my income too doubled with several different income streams why because that day i had given something out of my heart out of love out of gratitude of course there were other factors too but this is one of those factors this is a very important one now you must be wondering how to decide what to offer and how can i apply this to my own situation don't worry i am going to explain that too it's very simple you take into consideration two main emotions first love and second trust you offer something out of love it can be anything anything that you want to offer you want to give out of love and secondly while doing this you have complete faith you have complete trust in the universe in that infinite intelligence that yes you don't have to think about anything regarding the manifestation it is already done it will be taken care of by the universe the offering need not be always money it can be simply caring for your pet giving love to your plants nourishing them or doing some charity work offering clothes blankets something like that just helping someone out it can be your friend it can be your mother your family anyone maybe you are caring for some elderly people you can go to some old age homes and help out the people there anything anything that you want to do it should be important to you now suppose there is a person who is really busy and all maybe he is not giving time to his family he is all the time at work and maybe his marriage is failing there are several other problems health issues so maybe what he can do is just spend a little time give his time because he is so attached to time he is so busy all day why not give up some time for his family for his wife that little gesture of taking some time out giving some some of his precious time for his family for his wife even that counts automatically the love life will flourish it will start thriving automatically happiness will pour in health will become all right everything is connected suppose you want a job desperately you come across a job profile maybe it's not suiting you but it is suiting some of your friends let your friends know about this job help them get that job so if you want something and you help the other person out with that thing that is another very powerful way you are giving something you are offering something out of heart out of love and see what happens i'm sure i'm 100% sure you two are going to get a job very soon so i hope you have understood sai baba's teachings and how you can apply this to your own life and manifest anything that you want here are some other videos and i'll see you next time bye bye